Hola, and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer, and I've recently renamed my channel Jennifer's Journey to Ecuador because this year I am moving to Ecuador, and I decided that I would like to uh, chronicle that by vlogging and um, letting the people close to me and anybody interested in um, maybe moving abroad or moving to Ecuador specifically uh, wants to follow along and see what I'm going to be going through and what I'm uh, starting to do and and then after I get there you can uh, follow along and explore Ecuador with me so um, this is my first video it's just an introduction um, I have just a handful of subscribers so far uh, most of you probably already know that I'm going to Ecuador but um, I'll be leaving late November, early December. My brother is flying in uh, in November, and we will be driving across country with my keepsakes that I don't want to take with me um, and leaving them at his residence. So we're going to have a nice um, road trip for that. So I'm just beginning my journey. All I've done so far is sell a lot of my stuff uh, because... I've um, decided to only take uh, two large suitcases, one carry-on, and my dog in his dog crate. So um, we're going to keep it loose and, and, and try and you know stay as unencumbered as possible. So I'll be leaving my bins of pictures and things like that at my brother's house. Um, so right now, the point I'm at is I've done my research and I've started Duolingo. Um, I've been doing Duolingo for about three and a half months because, you know, at least I will have some uh, basic Spanish down, if not uh, fluency. I figure once I get there, you know, I'll, I'll have to learn a little bit more. But for now, I'm just going to, you know, I've been practicing with friends a little bit. Um, I'm going to be going, uh, getting some assistance from Gringo Visas, um, which I will... Uh, talk about a little bit more in some later videos and maybe link uh, to their website so if anybody else is interested in moving abroad to Ecuador they you know can use them too and they can follow my process with them tomorrow I'm going down to the Lane County Sheriff for my fingerprint appointment um, because you know they have to do a background check with the FBI to make sure I'm not a criminal <laughs> before I uh, get my visa. So that's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, I may, uh, as I go along the steps of the journey, just randomly talk about where I'm at and what I'm doing. Um, I've been mostly doing a lot of research at this point so, and a lot of planning. So right now, um, there isn't a whole lot to see just me talking um, as we go along and I, and I hit the road trip portion there will be more um, hopefully visually I can you know, capture some uh, recording of some of the places that we stop uh, on the road trip and, and then you know some things around the traveling and, and then once I get to Ecuador some exploring so um, like I said this is just an introduction I thought you know I've been putting off starting this and it, it, there's just nothing to do but just start. Uh, start talking about it. Start um, sharing with you. I'm not a professional. There's not going to be anything, um, <laughs> you know, elaborate in my videos. It's just going to be my phone and me. Because, like I said, I'm keeping it simple. So uh, my phone and I will be going everywhere together. So hopefully I can capture a lot of my um, more uh, entertaining moments. Uh, later on. Um, my channel thus far, if you want to scroll back through my other videos, I just was uh, sharing a few dog training videos, very short. Um, after I moved to Ecuador, I plan to be involved in a rescue there. Um, there's one that's already established that I'm going to be assisting with, but I also might develop my own um, version because I have an interest in uh, rescuing some street dogs. Um, my plan is to move to Salinas, Ecuador, which is along the coast. It's a coastal city, and it stays in the 70s and 80s. I already have one friend there that I've um, known from online for a few years, and 
He's helped me find a place to stay while I'm looking for my uh, first house that I'm going to rent. There are a lot of properties in Ecuador that are fully furnished, um, and that means that they come with, uh, you know, basic necessities. you got your furniture and some things that you need in the kitchen. If there's elaborate things that you want, you know, I'll have a few accessories that I throw into my giant suitcase, but mostly it's just going to be clothes and dog training stuff and um, just a few small items. So anyway, I will talk more in the next video about maybe why I chose Ecuador and maybe update everyone on how the process is going. Like I said, I have mostly appointments for, you know, uh, dog vaccinations and things like that that I have to worry about beforehand, so there's not a whole lot of excitement. But I just want to touch base and, and kind of keep track. So right now where I'm at is selling my things, doing planning, uh, giving my deposit to Gringo Visas, and I'll go into some more detail about um, how much that stuff costs um, as I go along and maybe even do a video specifically about uh, the expenses that you may or may not incur. I am a single female um, traveling alone with my dog so you know there will be some differences. I It's a situation that's unique to me in terms of I've been watching other Ecuador channels which I will also later on be giving some shout outs to those channels because really the reason I'm doing this is I gained so much from watching the other people's videos that I thought well maybe somebody could gain from my journey you know some information that they need or even some entertainment or some idea about something they want to do so it's nice to see you. If you would like to be notified when I do post a video, just hit the subscribe button. And um, if you want to show me some support and that you watch my video and that you're going to be following my journey, you can throw a like on there. And yeah, welcome aboard and um, hasta mañana.